I'm slightly, a little bit more than slightly, embarrassed to admit that I've had these boxes for a few months now. The company has been so incredibly patient with me. Shout out to Brian. Usually I'm very on top of things, but the last, I wanna say six months, things have just really picked up. I got a rack. <laughs> For some of my guitars, you can see there's a rack over here and it's already full So I have to order yet another rack for these babies behind me and then some also I decided that this video would be better to just do a double guitar unboxing instead of just one video for each guitar It's just kind of easier for me to get it done And then later on I would definitely love to do individual videos on them and review them for you And if you guys have any questions, I can better answer that for you But literally for me an unboxing video is just my initial first reaction, impression, just letting you know what I think from the get-go, the moment I open the guitar out of the box. This is a giant case and it's heavy. This is like his favorite thing right now. He has his box. What are you doing? I wonder if I can fit in there. <gasps> no freaking way. It is almost as tall as I am. Wait, I have to scrunch up my feet. Oh, he's trying to paw the box. Well, that was a little interesting side adventure. Back to the guitar. <laughs> also, if you're somebody that is here for guitar unboxing, you kind of take things a little seriously. In the guitar community, I'm sorry, but I don't. I mean, I do, I do take things seriously, but I have fun. It's an exciting day. I'm gonna try to do justice to this case and hold it up so you guys can see how amazing and just heavy duty this is because we've got first, there's a pocket here at the top and then there's a handle right here and we have yet another pocket for accessories and things. I'm gonna see if anything inside no surprise eggs in there and then if I turn it around we have our straps and look how solid these are these are really 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 nice oh my gosh I'm so excited for this whoa my goodness this is crazy This is the Framus FD14 12 string in mahogany and this is a solid top mahogany right here. The back and sides are all laminated mahogany. It's got a beautiful sheen to it. Look how pretty she is. We also have a mahogany neck and the fretboard is tiger stripe ebony. But look at this gorgeous inlay around the acoustic hole. I can't stress enough how much I love the inlay. It's like it just makes my heart so happy. I just, I love the inlays. the first time I picked up a 12 string at Guitar Center and just fell in love. I always knew that one day I would have a 12 string in my collection and this is just, this is amazing. Um. <laughs> learning curve playing the bar chords I will tell you that because now your index finger is not just pressing down on six strings you're just doubling it to, to 12 doesn't sound perfect but with a little bit of practice I will get there so how do you finger pick on a thing like this feels majestic I believe the website said that they come with clear tone strings. I have never actually played any clear tone strings to my knowledge, but they do sound really good. So nice and bright. I just love strumming each of the strings now. It just sounds so cool. Real quick, actually one more thing that I almost forgot to mention is that it has a Fishman pickup 
and um that's really cool because that means i can plug this thing in live and uh play it somewhere which is really cool if any of you out there are interested in seeing a full demo review video on the 12 string that i just unboxed i will have a video for that coming later on when i get more familiar with it play around with it get better at my finger picking and my bar chords on that guitar because it is a little bit of a challenge but if you have any questions about 12 strings or about that guitar in general leave them down in the comment section below because I would love to gather those and just kind of like see if there's any questions I can answer for you. I actually will be linking each of the guitars down below today that I am unboxing. So if you want to read more about the specifications, like each piece of individual hardware that is on these guitars, you can go do that. All right, so it's actually time to eat downstairs. My family, we eat together as a family every single night. So I'm going to do a little intermission and then I will come back and unbox the second guitar. All right, back from dinner, we are on a box two, two. I think I can actually sit with this one. Wow, Freemans does an amazing job at making sure these guitars are packed super well. What is this? Rock board. Oh, it's a coffee cup. Nice, I can't wait to unbox that. There's some stuff in here. I'm seeing some pens, stickers, and maybe like a product catalog. I kind of want to unbox the mug first. <laughs> Oh, that is cool. It says Rockboard by Warwick. And if you're not familiar with their Rockboard brand, they basically make pedal boards that they call Rockboard. And um, that's something I've actually been kind of looking into. They seem pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna be using this. Okay, so second guitar here. Um, this is a really exciting day, by the way. This is the uh, Diablo. It is from their uh, Framus D series. It's the Diablo Pro. Oh my gosh, it's been, oh, it's been, it has been a while. <laughs> oh wow. You are really, really, really pretty. Okay, there's nothing in there. There's a second pocket up here, which it feels like there are things. Oh, okay, okay. They gave me a cable. They gave me a cable and strap locks. Oh, there's also a whammy bar in here. Anything else? Any chocolates? jar of Nutella. It came from their Nashville office. It didn't actually come from Germany. But, you know, if Ramus ever wants to send me a package from Germany, feel free to like sneak a jar of Nutella in there. So I have some notes that I made about this guitar on my phone. I know that the body is completely made of base wood. I believe the neck is maple. The neck is in fact maple. And then the fretboard is just like the uh, acoustic 12 string. It's the Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Stripe of it. I can't say it. Tiger Stripe Ebony. I tried out this guitar when I was at Summer Nam. Ryan showed it to me. So when he'd asked me if there were any electrics that I um, wanted to try out here at home, I said that I really enjoyed the one that I played when I was at Nam, and I just wanted to just go ahead and experiment more with it and it feels nice and solid it's very smooth it has a satiny finish and something that I also loved about this guitar was the natural transparent body. I love the knobs on here. It looks like they have Seymour Duncan pickups. The shape of their headstock is really cool and interesting. As most of you know, I don't know too much about electric guitars, so there just really isn't too much that I can say, but I am going to tune this thing up and I am going to plug it in and we can hear it together. about this guitar I just feel like I'm gonna write a lot on this one for some reason I just feel it um, it's very comfortable to play the neck feels very good all right we got it unclean now we're gonna make things a little gritty <laughs> If 
you're wondering how my electric guitar progress is going, to be honest, I really haven't practiced too much lately. Just because all of this just going on right now, because I didn't have all my guitars in place. They were like in another room and it was just, it was a mess, you guys. But it feels good to get back into it. And I'm still struggling a little bit. This riff, but I'm gonna get it down. clean up this mess because it is literally a mess in here and I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put these two new guitars quick update I actually did fit the Diablo in my rack so now I have five guitars in here I don't think I have space for another one though I think that's gonna be it actually it's four guitars and a banjo it's right there don't tip it boy you are gonna tip that box <laughs> oh my goodness do you want me to tip it for you? Do you want me to tip it? Well, he wants me to tip it. Look at how bad. He wants to climb in there. <gasps> Why? 